All right, so here we are. We drove home from Bean Me Up Coffee. Let me tell you, if you want a coffee jolt, I just get the regular drip coffee with a little bit of ice on it. Woo! All right, I'm pulling up to 45th Street. There's a speedway right there on 45th Street. This is 45th Street in Calumet, and that's all the new businesses back there. There's Midwest Orthopedics by Rush, Kataro, Rosebud Steakhouse, but we're going to visit Family family opened up coffee shop back here so if you know where i'm at that's speedways 45th avenue we're on calumet and that's the whole new shopping district straight ahead of centennial park there's the veterans a memorial over here let's go check out this coffee shop all right we're driving around through i didn't even know all these businesses were back here we are currently looking for bean me up roastery bean me up roastery is what we are looking for yeah 96 Awesome families of support. 9610 Bean Me Up Roastery. Look at it, it is jam packed already. Beep, 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 beep. Here we are. Bean Me Up Roastery 9610. Let's go in and check it out, man. Bean Me Up Roastery. roastery. Pretty awesome, a wooden fork, completely uh, decompostable. Even down to the wallpaper in the bathroom, being me up, pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the logo for Bean Me Up. I love, love, love this logo, Bean Me Up Coffee. Look at the foods they have in here. Amazing dishes already made from Bean Me Up Coffee. What kind of cake is that? Why is this one top? It's a Mexican hot chocolate French silk pie and then a lemon meringue on the bottom. Mexican hot chocolate French silk pie. Have you even heard of such a thing? Pretty awesome. Now these are the... Oatmeals you have, blueberry, apple, coconut, and this is going to be the logo right here. Bean me up. Okay, this is Nick, Michelle, and... <laughs> now we're over here uh, in... Uh, is this Dyer? This is Dyer? Munster. Munster, this is Munster. Can I look in the back? Yeah, yeah. Okay, employees only, employees only. How long have you been open for? This is, this is Michelle. They've been open for four days. And whose whose idea was this? Uh, ours, both of us. Both of How long have you been in, uh, dealing with coffee for? Uh, like working with coffee? We probably collectively like six years. Six years. Yeah, and then uh, we started our LLC in 2020. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, what made you? So, did you work at a coffee shop beforehand? Yeah, we worked at Starbucks for three years. Really? Yeah. Then, uh -huh. Yeah, and then we learned during the pandemic how to roast. Oh, also oh, use roast their own beans yeah, here. Yeah. Pretty awesome. They roast their own the beans here. Right All right, now this is the cappuccino machine they use. Uh, what kind of machine? It's not ca cappuccino. Espresso machine. Espresso machine. I'm yeah. sorry. This is Nick right here, and this is actually a cousin of mine. So uh, 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 I want to say distant cousin, but you know, times have changed. I knew him when he was like this, 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 this high from the ground, and he's actually making the coffee. I finally had a chance to shoot the video because it actually calmed down over here. So who's the roaster? You're the roaster? Can we see a little bit about the roasting? Okay. This is the roaster. They roast their own baby. beans here. That's yeah. the baby right there. This is the baby. Uh, it is a uh, DJ 22 pounder. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, how, how often do you have to roast? We're going to find out. Uh, I had a roast. Do an emergency 100 pounds yesterday. Really? Emergency 100 pounds? <laughs> because, because you sold out over here yeah, already? Yeah, we're just, uh, going through everything so fast. That's awesome. Now, now you get your own beans? You source your own beans? Uh, yeah, we get them through a few different distributors that work with a lot of small farms. Uh, we go through Sweet Maria's that works with a lot of small farms, actually. And then uh, for our bigger batches that we need, uh, we go through Genuine Origin. Okay, that's awesome. Now, do you roast during the day or mostly at nighttime? nighttime. Mostly at nighttime. Yeah, we got a little one. We got to switch off me and her. Ah, uh, oh, they got they got the little one. 
Okay, now this right here, how long did it take you to get it up and running off the ground? The store when you first came in here. Did you just have to deal with COVID? Uh, yeah, no. Um, After COVID you started? Yeah. Okay. So we've been, from getting this lease or from like the initial idea of this, because we were planning this pre-COVID, but then we finally got to the point where we can actually get through this. Like what? Michelle, how long has it been since we've been working? They were planning this, this pre-COVID, so this was a dream of passion. In 2020, they started the business. And how are you selling it in 2020? Or what were you doing in 2020? I like farmers markets and paranormal conferences and little craft fairs. Ah, paranormal, paranormal, paranormal conferences. <laughs> that that brings yeah. up the name, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who came up with the logo? I did. <laughs> that that is that is awesome. Be, Bean me up. Now we are in Oregon. Munster, Indiana. In Munster, Indiana. Uh, this is uh, coffee roasted with a passion. And no, it really is. I mean, it's it's a thing of passion. That's empty, but yeah, this is a smell. I mean, obviously, your people can't smell it, but now this is what you roasted yourself. That was last night. Oh my god, that is amazing. When you smell, when you smell a fresh bean compared to something in the store, it smells amazing. Either way, I just wanted to show you. We had to stop in here. Actually, I didn't ask you to shoot a video, but I started driving as soon as we came in because I wanted to let people know exactly how to get here. So if you get a chance, stop in the area. It's right behind, what is that, Kataro? Kataro and El Salto. K Kataro and El Salto. All right, talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. All right, so here we are. We drove home from Bean Me Up Coffee. Let me tell you, if you want a coffee jolt, I just get the regular drip coffee with a little bit of ice on it Woo! i got a nice jolt from that coffee i've i've conquered the world right now so bean me up coffee uh where was that highland Sherville, maryville dyer where was it at my love do you remember um it's i think that's considered highland or dyer one of them i'll look it up and i'll share it right here but man i got a jolt from that coffee that was pretty awesome talk to you later subscribe like and share